What's happening folks and welcome to a top 5 wonder kids on FM23. Today we're going to be going through the top 5 according to the data that I have looked at. These are the top 5 wonder kids to sign on Football Manager 2023. If you want to stick around and want to see more from this channel, we do have a series coming out soon where we're going deep diving to loads of players on FM23, same as FM22 and FM21 that we did, where we're looking deep into their stats throughout the course of their careers and get more in-depth knowledge on them so you guys can make you guys make a decision on whether to pay, pay that money for that player. So, top five, according to Ata, a lot of them are maximum 190 rated uh, ability. Let's go to number five. Number five is Asu Fati, again a player that had a serious injury in recently. Uh, he was out for a good period of time, uh, ten months. There we go. I knew it was a lot. I knew it was a long time. But straight away you can see here he's got 190 maximum possible ability according to the data. Um, he's at least at time recording. He has that. 16 dribbling, 16 finishing, good technique, flair, termination off the ball. Good acceleration and agility and pace. You've got on the tactical side, you've got it's basically two footed in my opinion. Moves ball, moves in the channels, plays his shots, plays one twos, runs the ball often, and cuts inside from the left wing. Could be a striker, don't see a reason why not. Um, don't see a reason why not if you want to change that. But the dribbling and the finishing and the movement he has, he may be thinking more towards the left winger, definitely. But he's number five according to the list that I managed to find on the editor. Number four, another Barcelona player, Gavi. Um, again, lots of promise around this guy. Straight away, you can see the technique is insanely high for him. Good vision, good work rate, can definitely be a really good deep line playmaker. Could push him further forward, attack him in the third role as well, if you feel that's something you want to do with him. And, but again, valuation of 29 million pounds to 87 million pounds. These are going to be very expensive players. He's not gems, a lot of these guys will be well known. Uh, but this is, this is the first time I've done a video like this guy, so, People are always welcome how to find the gems and things like that, uh, top five and that kind of thing. Um, I've never done this kind of video before. He's been isolated players one by one. Um, but again, Javi, great player last year. Gavi, 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 using last year myself, very good player uh, and young as well. I mean, obviously the contract will be high, £861 million. But maybe if you're a team who can, who's got lots of money or got a cycling takeover, maybe you can pick him up. Now number three, Yusufa Makuku. Everyone signed this guy last year. He was the new kid on the block. Um, he was well, a goal machine, and I'm, I have no doubt he's going to be a goal machine this year. Listed for loan it, it, early on in the, it, from day one, so he's on my save. So if you want to get a play, get him on loan, maybe loan him in, and then work on keeping him, that could be an option you could do. Uh, obviously, 20, 20, 20 million pound is 60 million pound evaluation there. No lease clause in his contract. Five foot ten. Got the pace, got the dribbling, got the finishing, got the technique, out and out striker. Um, I have no doubts this guy is going to be an absolute dynamo again on FM23. Maybe he's a guy I feel, but that loan deal is interesting because if you can, I don't know who, who they'd loan him to, but if you can get him a, bit, a big club on loan and then get a mandatory fee in there, you could have a gem there. Number two is somebody who I got on my PSG series. Go check out and go check, check that out. It's Warren Zare Emre, um, a midfielder, same midfielder slash attacking midfielder, who has got a lot of decent balanced stats for a 16 year old. Uh, actually, scratch that, is amazing for a 16 year old. And I think this kid is going to be very, very good on foot mind. Of course, maybe do a video on this guy to see how it gets on and develops. But straight away, good technique, good passing, good marking. Not so much um, good tackler, but you could make him a tackling, tackling, tackling ball in midfielder. But I do feel like he's so young. The plus side to him is you're going to have a lot of chance to mould him how you want. The downside could be PSG will probably want to keep him. That's a lot of money. But again, looks like a really good, solid player. Number one now, and I think we know who this is. It's Hendrik. He's got a guaranteed potential of 200. And yeah, I was on Twitter saying I hope this guy is in the game this year. Clearly got permission from the permission from the from the family. Um, because in case you don't know, I think players under 16 or 18, I think, I'm not sure if one of those two ages, have got to have parental consent to be in the game. You saw that with Odegaard famously when they bought a little patch out to bring him into your get into your game. Um oh no, I don't think it was. This guy is in from day one and Spoiler alert, he's the first view, view I'm going to do on this channel. Hendrik, striker, right winger, doesn't matter where you play him, 
sign this guy up. He's going to be an absolute phenomenon. He's not got any clause in his contract. Get him in day one. He's going to be insane. I'm sure. I think he's going to be the Mukuku of last year. I really think he is. If you get these two, in the, if you get them two in the same team, oh my god, you're going to be a, walking it um, surely. But yeah, this is the the player that everyone's going to want to sign this year, and I'm certainly doing it on my saves. Um, 15 years old. The stats he has are insane. 14 dribbling, 13 finishing, 13 first touch, 13 technique, 18 flair. Look at the pace. He's also Brazilian, which is always a plus for me. I love watching uh, Brazilian, Brazilian football. Uh, main national team, obviously, because I can't access the Brazilian league where I live. Um, and doesn't look like he'd be very expensive. Get this guy signed. I think he's going to be, at the moment, unless there's anything changes at the time of recording this, the best FM won the kid on the game so guys if you enjoyed this episode i hope you have it's very new for this for me this i just basically went into editor looked at the highest potential players and did it in a list of fifth up to the top so fatty started off a lot of players on 89 but the max potential rate was 200 i went up five from there i don't know if that's the right we're doing it but i thought i was doing five wonder kids that they ranked in that editor as the highest um and yeah um coming soon will be the endrick review because that's the sounds the most serious starting very soon as well so if you're back guys always welcome i want to do more these kind of videos but i do i've never done them before so i thought i'd give it a crack very short video but i think i enjoyed it hope you did as well but until next time thank you so much for watching bye bye